Welcome back to Beauty Marks Podcast, a space where we embrace marks acquired through our journey. My name is Elizabeth Savion, and welcome back to the first episode of 2022. I'm so excited you're here. Happy New Year. It is a new day, a new week. Very excited to be in a new year. Um, I really am the person that believes that just because it's a new year doesn't mean that things are going to change fully. However, you can change and you can do the work to create the change that you want. So as much as before I used to believe in a lot of resolution stuff, now it's more like little habits that I can change every year and intentions that I have for the year. So like focus and all of that. So to start off with the highs of the week, some of you guys that follow me on social media know that my sister and my brother-in-law had my niece, Rain Jolie Marcelin, and we are so excited to have her here she came two weeks early which was a huge surprise it was literally like on a thursday the 30th of december at like five in the morning um but the whole it was like funny how everything happened um that her water literally broke and that's a very small percentage of people that actually that happens to and so that whole experience we're all like running around the house like trying to help her out and like tossing things it was just like organized chaos I guess but it was so exciting um to experience that and she um has been recuperating and I know that they will be able to share their side of the whole story um on their podcast moments with the Marcelins and it was it's just been crazy like completely shifted everything I feel like everybody was like planning like okay two more weeks so I had like my whole like I like idea or agenda of what I was going to do and this completely changed it but it was such a blessing um New Year's was very different because we were at the hospital like that Thursday Friday up, up until late and then so we just literally were just like it was a small little just my close family here at the house and we brought in the new year um in my neighborhood they always do fireworks all over so we were just you know just being thankful for like a new year and just you know it's just like a lot of things to process right now so it's been one of those years that are look very different than other ones but we're so grateful she's healthy she's good recovering my sister's recovering it's an is really like inspiring and I admire them so much for the teamwork and the work that they do. Being a parent does not look easy at all. Um, but you know, my family, like we're, we are very close. So we want to help in whatever way we can, you know, while they're here, which I know is only temporary. So we're enjoying this whole process. So honestly, my whole, like every day has been like, just really consumed and helping out with that, which I love. I'm like, this is the best job ever. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's been my high of the week. I would say the low of the week though, because it threw, like for me, you know how I have shared on here that I'm like very, like I like to have a plan and like organized and all of that. My idea was to get like my whole 2022 like vision board done. Like I had like a whole bunch of things. So now I feel like I felt like I was a little bit behind on like planning my week and like planning my, the vision for the year. And so I just feel like I'm, I put that on myself. And so now I, I'm just going to do it this week. So I still don't have like my intention. Like I have an overview. Like the other night I couldn't sleep. And so literally I started jotting down, like I broke it down. I did like a little map out brain dump and I literally did um you know so I did like my career financial goals I did relationship goals spiritual goals educational goals like so I like broke it down um into all these categories and I wrote like I literally just started writing what was in my head and so I have that but ideally I like to always do like a vision board and all of that and so I will be doing that this month (laughs) <laughs> That's all I'm going to say because I put a lot of pressure on myself. So have grace with yourself. If your beginning of the year has not been like, you know, hitting the ground running this year, we're, I'm in this with you. And, you know, you're not behind. We're the ones that 
it's just the start of the year. And you know what was also like a reminder was like, it's not about only starting, it's about continuing. So it's like same with the gyms that, you know, are going to be super packed in the beginning of the year. It's not who starts, it's who continues and who continues giving a shot at it. Like you put yourself out there, you try and if you fail, then you try again. So it's like a continuous going, going, going. So I, all of this to say is that I hope that whatever is on your list, on your focus this week, I hope that you kill it. I hope that you um, have grace with yourself, you focus, you figure out what that looks like for you um, and in the time that you need and in what's happening in your life right now too. So whatever that focus is. Um, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, I have a Facebook group called Beauty Marks Podcast Community. And it is all about literally creating a space for women to inspire, encourage, help each other throughout your goals. And we'll also be talking about like topics that we talk on the on the podcast. We'll be talking a little bit more on there um, and just really like supporting each other. Like, I feel like I have a lot of supportive women that I know th- that contact me, but at th- and that we're in communication through social media, but I would love for all of us to, you know, to get together. So if you haven't joined that group, make sure to join in the show notes. And also on my Instagram, you can follow me at Elizabeth Sabby, where I share that. And so it's not going to be a spam group. It's not going to be, you can always get out of it. And if you don't follow it, you're still a part of this community and I appreciate you so much, but that is just, if someone, cause I know how hard it is also to really meet people when you're an adult. So that's also a way like virtually that you can meet more people and women that think and want to grow and want to heal and all these other things. So I really hope that you join if you haven't. And so on today's episode, I definitely want to talk about the power of vulnerability. And so all of this to start the year, I definitely want you guys to start thinking about when you are vulnerable, what that really does and what that really lays a foundation for. A lot of people say like, oh, I'm such an honest person. I'm such an honest person. Like I say things how it is. Like I'm very outspoken, like but you can be honest about something, but not vulnerable because vulnerability comes at a deeper level. Vulnerability is like the second layer that you actually have to like go there. And number one, at least for me, a place where I can be vulnerable is where a place where I don't feel judged. And so a place where I feel like I can be myself, I can be transparent. I feel that I can trust those people Um, another space is where people like give me the room and I see people also being vulnerable because I, I feel like at the place in my life that I'm at right now, because I've done some self work and I'm not, of course, we'll never reach perfection, but just because I've become much more self-aware, I'm also very aware of other people when they're very superficial. And then when there's like when they're like vulnerable, like I can really tell, I'm like, huh, like, wow, like they really opened about that or like, okay, I can tell this person like, doesn't want to go deeper, which is fine. Some people are genuinely okay with not having vulnerability as part of their relationships, but I feel like it is important to do so. Even if you have like one or two people that you can do that with, that is life-changing and you will see a huge change and help in you like you'll be able to become so much more self-aware because you're you have people to you know help you in those areas but also point out those areas and support you through those areas that you are vulnerable with so I know that it's super hard to be vulnerable. I know for myself it's taken me a long time and listening to the episode that I did last year Um, I had said on the podcast episode, so the first episode of last year, I had said this year, I really want to be more vulnerable and I really want to like get to like the deeper parts of my, you know, share a little bit of more about the deeper hurts of my life and issues that I 
I'm walking through because I know that that's like the true transformation, but I know I'm still working through it. So I talked about like that I wanted to um, heal and talk about, you know, my relationships and all of that. And so now a year later, um, I'm like, wow, like I can see how this past year I was vulnerable um, and it hurt and it was difficult, but I was able to open that um, because I was at a much better place in my healing I think when you also are trying to be vulnerable, um, you want to come also from the the place where you're at a at a better state, not like like so if you're wounded, not bleeding out. Instead, you're like it's more of like a little scab, like a mark. Um, then more of like it's just fresh. Sometimes you know when you're sharing your vulnerability and you're sharing your vulnerable moments, um, not everyone can handle that. So you have to be very careful of who you share that with. That's why it's so important to have the right space and community to do so. Um, and like read the room of who you're sharing that with, of who you're sharing those things to. Because another thing is if you're sharing things to someone that is you know, like if you don't know them and they aren't vulnerable with their things, it kind of like, like I've had that experience before that I share something vulnerable to someone and that person's like not doing it back. So then it kind of feels like, oh, okay, like this is not the space, like this is not the vibe here. Um, so you just have to be very cautious. And I know that not every, not everybody um, is going to be okay with sharing it publicly or on social media or like through a podcast and it's perfectly fine but finding someone that you can be vulnerable with because at the end of the day we all want to be loved known seen and sometimes first you know god is the one that will is where we find our identity from where we feel the most unconditional love we are seen we are understood it is such like a like the way that he makes us and the way that he designs our relationship to be, it is the most intimate relationship that you can have. But aside from the one with Jesus, it's really those people that God puts in your life that you can be fully yourself. And that is, I think that is such a beautiful thing. So um, this past year in 2021, when I became more vulnerable about, you know, toxic relationships, trauma, codependency, things that I was going through in therapy, healing, like it felt so like, it felt like I didn't have a covering anymore. You know, it felt like I'm exposing myself. Like I'm exposing the parts of my life that I don't want people to know. Like I want people to think, you know, like, okay, she's, you know, she has a podcast, like must mean that she's doing pretty all right. Like if she's talking about it to other people, but I feel like that's not the case. Like I am, if anything, this has definitely brought me more accountability to myself and to live a life that I talk about. So like not be a hypocrite about things that I am saying to telling other people like that is something that I strive to be. I'm not ever like, I'm not perfect, but I strive to be someone that has, um, that lives with integrity with my word and my life. That if someone wants to see me on the street, they'll be like, she's living the same life than when she talks about and who she is, you know, and trying to represent Christ the best way that I can. Um, but at the end of the day, like showing those marks is, vulnerable because you also don't know like you know how people are going to take it like how it's going to be received like it just literally like is showing your weaknesses it's kind of like when you're in a battle and then you're like showing like how to you know what your weak areas are however I found out that for me sharing those things was freeing me so much of the weight that I felt like it was on me like No one can destroy something that I am putting out there. Like, if you want to call me out for something, I'm putting my stuff out there. Like, you can't pull up any other dirty trapos, like how I say, of of my life when I'm the one that's putting it out there. Like, it's not a secret anymore. And I feel like when you are vulnerable and you share those parts of your life, maybe things that you've walked through, maybe things that you're struggling with, you also kind of like alleviate yourself from that pressure and from that weight. 
And I think that that is so freeing. And I think that that's the place that we all want to get to where you're working through things and you're being vulnerable and you're sharing and you're being free to share these things to not weigh on you anymore. So like, because right now, like after sharing about like toxic or like all the things that I shared about this past year, I'm like, okay, like it's all out there. Now I feel so much better. Like it's like a weight lifted off. That is the best way to describe it. And when I do that, I feel like it really helps someone else to do the same. And I've had multiple messages that is literally like beautiful to see of people that have said like, thank you so much for sharing that. Like I've gone to, I've started to go to counseling or like, thank you so much for sharing part of your story. Um, I started, um, I, it inspired me to share my story or like, we have similar stories and thank you so much for that. Like I feel seen, like that's exactly what I'm going through. So I just want you to encourage you guys to whatever your story is, whatever area um, you either have walked through or working through, your story matters. And the vulnerability and the courage that it takes to be vulnerable, really, and to be transparent is so freeing and is so worth it. Like if you actually think about the people around you that you can share your story with that you can share parts of what you've walked through and you can shine a light to them like hey i'm over here like i've made it through like you can you can get here i believe in you like just take it one day at a time like this is what i did like this is what helped me um and so i've seen that so much more now than ever is that now that i've talked about little my marks, you know, and my marks of life, things that have, have hurt me and that left a scar. Um, those are the areas that I feel like God is using to be able to help someone else. Find a community. I think that finding a space to be honest and open and vulnerable is super important. If that's even at your church or in a group or in a Facebook community, Um, whatever that looks like for you, um, because I feel like that is so important. I feel like through community, you can heal also, and you can just be empowered, you know, when you're in community, when you're around people that are walking through the same journey or have walked through similar paths than you, or you can even learn so much if you have, if you have different stories too. So not always do you have to have the same experiences, but you can just encourage and, um, you know, inspire other people through, you know, your vulnerability. So as you start seeing all these things of 2022 and new me, who's this, I just want to remind you guys that literally you becoming aware of the areas that you have to work on is so much growth and to grow, you need to get out of your comfort zone and you can create habits every single day to create the change and the, where you want to be. So it is possible, whatever it looks like to you, if it's fitness, spiritual finances, if it's relational, um, if it's a career wise, whatever that looks like for you, just, you can make a plan and you can be intentional for this year, 2022 to make it the best year ever. I know that all of this world, all these things that are happening around us, but remember, take heart that the Lord is with us. He guides us. He goes before us and he will never leave us or forsake us. So he will light the path. And I I believe that this year is going to be a great year. No matter what you make the best out of it, take it one day at a time. So one last thought, a quote that I saw on Instagram that really spoke to me. And I was like, yes, I need to share this. It says in 2022, stop telling yourself you're not qualified, not worthy, or not experienced enough. Growth happens when you start doing things you're not qualified to do. So start something new. So go after it this year. I believe in you. I know you 
can do this. You are not alone. You are so loved. And I know that this year can be the best yet. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. Make sure to leave a review if you haven't on Apple Podcast and let me know what you're loving. I know if you have any suggestions for what topics we should talk about and do, make sure to hit me up at Aludasabi or Beauty Marks Podcast at gmail.com. Thank you guys again, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one.